got to be uh, honest, I'm always wary about celebrities who come to disaster zones, um, and they usually stay for very short periods of time, appear before the cameras, and then take off. Uh, but actor-director Sean Penn has been here now for almost three weeks, uh, helping with uh, relief work with his own organization. Just days after the quake, he co-founded the Jenkins Penn Haitian Relief Organization with an entrepreneur named Diana Jenkins. I talked to Sean Penn earlier tonight. I, I knew you had come. I didn't know that you stayed. I mean, you've been here now. Why, why have you stayed so long? Because our organization, JPHRO, was being so effective. And, and, and with every day, I knew that I couldn't leave it until we had set up everything that, you know, we have a, a really great team of people who know how to do this stuff. But my part in it really, it, it, it singularly had to do with being able to make certain, certain networking situations in terms of the United Nations, State Department, those kinds of things. And, and that to be here on the ground, to be one of the participants in the actions that we were taking, was to know what it was that we needed to need from them. And so now we have a pretty good frame on that. I'll go home for about a week. Uh, has has, this, has this changed you? I mean, has this experience in some way? I don't think anyone can be here and not be changed by it. But. You know, when I was in Miami, somebody, I guess Sanjay Gupta, had, had heard that I might be coming, and I got an email from him that said, uh, awful, indelible, fixable. Mm. And this is a situation, I've been on autopilot like a lot of us have, like uh, a lot, certainly the doctors, everybody, because the circumstances are so emotional that you really, you can't afford to, to invest too much in that. And you're too tired to be emotional. You're, it's, a, it's hot here, it's all those things. But the thing that is most changing about it is, is the, to see the character of the Haitian people. Yeah. People have been through so much in the first place, so resilient. And there's something so touching about that level of human courage that is slash character, that is built into these people. Challenged with the thing, it's, it's like, okay, you can take it, try this. And it's just... Uh, and it's been going on for, I mean, there's generations of, of, you know, corruption and mismanagement and abuse and murders. And I mean, just, it's one thing after they've another. They've been bullied by God. And it's, and it's time that, you know, we all stepped in and, and, and uh, did what, you know, the, the America we all believe in can do. And, and of course, with all the other countries that are involved, but I think it's the United States in particular, and the military on a humanitarian mission here, has to the man been so extraordinary, and I mean humanly so extraordinary. And they, to bring a, a, a group like that of such disciplined, skilled people into something like this, it's made an, a tremendous impact, and the United States should be prouder than ever of its military. I've seen it firsthand. Do um, you plan to come back, yeah? Yeah, I'll be back next week. Next week? Do you, I mean, one of the things I worry a lot about is when, and it's this, you know, one about the, the rains coming, obviously, and what happens to all these people who are living outside, but in terms of the coverage and keeping people's attention on this is the Olympics are starting soon and everyone's going to be focused on watching the Olympics and I feel like this is going to drop off the face of the earth. Well, so often, and I don't even agree with it when this happens, people say, you know, don't politicize this, don't politicize that. <clears throat> if there was, you know, they even say it at the Academy Awards, don't politicize it. There's nothing, there's nothing is not political. This is not political. This is the most unpolitical thing there is. This is human beings that are great, strong human beings that are that need help. They're stronger than most of us are, and, and they need our help now. They're so down. So in terms of keeping the eye on it, I think that they should politicize the Olympics if that's what they want to call it. And every Olympian should, should speak about Haiti every time they talk. Everybody should keep the light on this. Yeah. It, it's, it's, I mean, one of the things I, I was thinking about yesterday is that, I mean, nobody should die in silence and nobody's struggle should, to live should go unnoticed as well. I mean, right. it, it, what we're seeing every single day, while much of the world is turned away, is this struggle to live. And it is just as brutal and horrific and uh, impactful as w we saw people being pulled out of the rubble. Yeah, and you have, you know, with, for all of the thrill and all the deserving of an Olympian winning a gold medal, if the United States as a people win a gold medal on humanitarian effort here, I think that's going to be more important. Yeah. Well, Sean, appreciate all you've done. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Thanks.